Hello folks. Recently I had a project in which I needed to uh, separate some data that's being collected by a Google Form. So I have a Google Form, it's got all these columns, and uh, when that data comes in it's hard to read. So what we want to do is use a query in cell A1 and just bring in the reading data, the writing data, the math data, and so forth. And um, in order to do that, if you take a look here at this query, I am using a named range. So what I wanted to do, because this uh, needed to be set up as a way for users to automatically add these named ranges, they, were, they will make a copy of this sheet and then they would need to know how to type in um, all of these queries to create these sheets. And so I wanted to do all that with a script. So here's the data. And then let's start off and take a look at what this script would look like. Over here, I'm going to uh, look at this part of the script. So the first script is basically, uh, I want to scroll down here and talk, take a look at how to create a named range. Um, let's go ahead and uh, looks like I should format this document a little bit and then I should save it. There we go. So let's look at how to create a named range. I've created a function called create named ranges. So let SS equal the spreadsheet, get active spreadsheet. Let the sheet equal to SS, get the active sheet. And then I wanted to name all of these um, reading, writing, math, and so forth. So let reading equal sheet, get the range D through J. We can take a look at that. Um, if I look back at my data, uh, it's going to be D through J is my reading data. So I'm going to put that here in my script, D through J, and then so forth. Writing is K through P, math is Q, uh, uh, Q through Z, and so forth. Then we run this part of the script where we say SS, which is the get active spreadsheet dot set named range. And when you when you run a set named range, let me um, let me just go ahead and back this off so you can see how this would autofill. So set named range is name and then the uh, and then the range. So the name I want is going to be in this case reading. So I would just type reading. That's my, uh, that's going to be the name, followed by a comma, and then this shows me what range to use. Well, I pre, uh, pre wrote a range called reading that I defined here when I defined that range. So then this create named ranges would uh, create that named range. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and save that. And then let's come back over here to the sheet. I'm, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to uh, go, I'm going to delete these sheets, and I think I'm going to pause while I get them deleted. So I took a second there and deleted those sheets off, so that this this is what the sheet looks like when the teacher first opens it up. And then um, I've got some scripts here. You can see back on my uh, original script. I have my on open script. So the first thing we do, um, actually one of the first things we do, we're not showing here, is we're, we're setting this sheet to be the form response sheet for the form. And then um, the second script actually cleans up that sheet and, and renames the form response to data and some things like that, gets rid of the extra sheets. But what we're focused on right now is the create subject sheets and in, in insert sheet and set data. So what we've done here, it basically we don't see any sheets, but if we come here to data, I do have my named ranges. They've already been created. So let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and take a moment and delete these named ranges so you can see how this would work with the script. Okay, so you can see I don't have any named ranges in here now. That's all been cleaned up. So um, what I want to do is go back to the script. Now, if I were to run this script, it's going to create, um, it's going to first create the named ranges, and then, because let's take a look at that. 
when I run the script, this script here, the first thing it does is create the named ranges, which we had already defined down here. The second thing it does is go, uh, it creates a new sheet. Uh, um, it creates a new sheet and inserts the sheet reading, writing, math, social studies, science, health. It creates those sheets and then it sets the formula on each one of those sheets. So new sheet, get the range A1, we're going to install that formula and so forth and so on. And after we create the named ranges, we create the sheets, then we set the format. And let's take a look at what formatting looks like. Really what we want to do with this format is let sheets equals the spreadsheet, get active spreadsheet, get the sheets. Let the range equal to A1 to H and the header equal to A1 to K1. And then sheets for each, what we're going to do for each one of the sheets that, it, uh, that this function finds, it's going to set the wrap strategy. We want, we want to wrap the data cells. We want to make the header, notice that this is the header range, we want to make it bold, and we want the vertical alignment to be middle. Um, and by the way, if you look at how we have this set up, A1 to H, so the range is automatically going to set the wrap strategy. We're going to set the frozen rows, and then I also wanted to define the width. So if I were to run this script from here, um, I would end up uh, creating, uh, it would do all three of these things. But what we could do to show how this would work, let's go ahead and insert a, a little uh, drawing and let's go ahead and put in a little button here so we can see how this works. Let's, let's use, uh, I like using this button shape and I'm going to um, just cr uh, create this button and I'm going to call it um, uh, create named ranges because we've uh, set up that script And I'm going to save and close. So now I've got this button. So I have this button. And if I click the three dots, up, oh, I don't want to edit that. If I click the three dots and assign a script, I already had the script pasted and say OK to that. Now let me show you if I opened named ranges. Uh, those are named functions, excuse me, named ranges. So now I don't have any named ranges, but when I run my script, there we go. That quickly, I've got all my named ranges defined. So when you run the script, it goes ahead and creates those named ranges. The next script is the set the format. Uh, well, actually, the next script is to create the sheets. But let's just do that. Let's just do this with the work sample. Uh, we're on this data sheet. Let's create the subject sheet. So what it's going to do, we have all those named ranges. They're already set up. Notice what it does here is creates a reading, puts in the formula, query, reading, because we have defined that as a named range. And it's going to pull any data that happens to be reading data. So let's take a look if I, if I actually type something gobbledygook right here. Notice that's going to show up over here in the reading tab. And this data is going to be filled out by a form, so of course I wouldn't be, be doing that. But let me go up, run that script again, and notice if I run that script, it's going to name those ranges, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't recreate them. If I wanted to get rid of this button, I right click, I delete. I don't really need that button because all of this happens with this setup. So to summarize, um, I had a project. I needed to create named ranges. I wanted to format the document. And let's take a look real quick. So the formatting, you can see this is set up with um, the, um, the header is set up with word wrap on, bolded, and it is set up to uh, have vertical middle alignment. 
which is what I wanted to, to work with on each one of these sheets. Hope that helps.